Hello and welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. LSU Basketball Media Day is Wednesday, so we're switching gears to the court with LSU beat writer Randy Rosetta. Well, Randy, LSU, uh, we know about their sophomore forwards, uh, Jarrell Martin and Jordan Mickey, so uh, what else do you think will define LSU's basketball team this season? Well, a couple of things. They've got to play better defense on the perimeter, and there's two guys who I think contribute to that quite a bit. Yeah, guys a little bit off the radar because they weren't either weren't here or had to sit out last year, and that's Keith Hornsby and Josh Gray. Josh is a, a Lake Charles native who's taken kind of a circuitous path to get here. Those two guards will likely they'll likely be the starting guards. Hornsby's about six five, a big physical guard. Gray is a little bit bigger than Anthony Hickey and Andre Stringer probably a little bit more of a tenacious defender than either one of those guys. They've got to make sure that they're defending out there because that makes Jarrell Martin and Jordan Mickey that much more effective inside. And then, of course, they've got to find a fifth guy who has to fill the big shoes of, of Johnny O'Brien, the two-time All-SEC forward. I think they've got some versatility. I wrote about this last week. They could either go to a seven-foot-one guy, uh, Albert Robinson, who's a freshman, kind of a, a raw diamond-in-the-rough type guy, well, they can go to another sophomore who, again, didn't play last year because he was held up by the NCAA clearinghouse, uh, Brian Bridgewater, 6'5 and a half, 265 pounds. A lot of people say he has a game kind of similar to Charles Barkley did when he played at Auburn and in the NBA. You can put either one of those guys between the two Cadillacs up front, and you've kind of got a different way of attacking teams. So LSU has a lot of movable parts. I think they're deeper. Uh, more talented than they've been in Johnny Jones two years. So I think they've got a chance to do some things, and they can do it in different ways this year. Right, that's going to be key. And you caught up with Coach Jones last week about his hopes for this season. Here's the coach. And I think our guys gained even more of an experience than probably some others because we didn't go to a neutral site. We had to go play on someone's home floor in that type of atmosphere, in that type of environment. It was really good for us. Uh, and I think it was a good experience uh, for our guys, especially the ones returning. Right, talking about LSU's victory at San Francisco in the NIT. And Jordan Mickey agreed they'll be a versatile squad. Uh, we definitely have uh, some some different things we could do with this team this year. We can go, like you say, go small, uh, put put what four guards in, have me out there, or we can go big with Elwood, myself, Jarrell. So uh, we have we have different uh, different uh, matchups we could do this year. Uh, it'll be fun to see what we we able to do. And LSU plays an exhibition versus Morehouse on November seventh. So we'll get a quick look at LSU's basketball team then before they begin the regular season. Randy, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Anytime, Rachel. And thank you for watching Talking Tigers. Join us Wednesday when we turn back to football with more on Kentucky. Thanks for watching.